I was reading this blog post recently from Microsoft about the number of people using Windows 10, and it's quite an alarming blog post, really. No, not just the number of users, don't care about that. What was more interested in is the amount of tracking they really have done within the operating system. Because you can see here, they said, over 44.5 billion minutes spent in Microsoft Edge across Windows 10 devices in just the last month. Okay, so they're monitoring down to the minute how long you have your internet browser open for. Over 2.5 billion questions asked of Cortana since launch. You don't need any tracking within the operating system to find that out. Around 30% more Bing search queries per Windows 10 device versus prior versions of Windows. Again, you don't really need tracking within the operating system to find that figure out. But here, over 82 billion photos viewed within the Windows 10 photo app. Really, are they actually counting the number of photos people are viewing on their operating system? What the hell? I, that is unbelievable. That is real detailed analytics of what people are actually doing. I just, I can't believe it. I mean, if I compare my operating system here, Linux, Kubuntu. Kubuntu, how many photos have I viewed since I've installed you? I don't know. Don't you know? Well, yes, my sore arm and a bin full of tissues are testament to how many photos I have viewed, but that's none of their business, and they don't know. That's fine. Let's keep it that way. Windows? Oh, they can tell you down to the single number of how many photos you've viewed by the looks of it. What? <sighs> yeah, that's a real comparison there between uh, tracking in Linux compared to tracking in Windows. Linux has barely got an idea of how many people have even installed the operating system. Microsoft, oh, they can tell you right down to a single number of how many people have installed it and what they've been doing. Now, on the other hand, you can argue that Google track you as well. Yes, they do. They track you for your search results and if you visit a website with Google Analytics on there, which is actually quite a lot of websites. I've not seen tracking down to this level of detail from Android or Chrome OS. But it's actually quite easy to stop Google tracking you. You just need to disable third-party cookies in your browser, and if necessary, you can block websites, doubleclick.net, Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, and Google Ad Services for websites. If you want to stop Microsoft tracking you, how many websites do you think you need to block? Let me give you a clue. It's a bloody lot. <laughs> I don't even have the exact amount, but I would estimate it could be somewhere upwards of 1 million. Yes, I did say million there. The trouble is, Microsoft have gone to great lengths to hide the websites that they own. And they've gone through third parties and also used who is privacy services. I'll go into a bit more of it now. So there's been a few stories around that Microsoft still leaks out information even when you tell it not to in the settings. But there's praise here about an app that stops Windows 10 from tracking you. Had a quick look at it here. It works on the idea of sinkholing known Microsoft tracking domains. And that's all fine and well if you know that's all of them. However, I can tell you for absolute certain that is not all of them. Because I came across one in December. I happened to get lucky at work when I was looking around for suspicious behaviour of domains that were leaking out information. Now, when people were doing Bing searches from Windows 10, it was leaking out information in a hash to that website, Footprint Predict. However, it was leaking out the same hash information to Footprint DNS. Who owns it? Well, FootprintDNS.com is owned by CSC, Computer Sciences Corporation, but further down on registration information, it says it's registered by Microsoft. Sneaky. Footprint Predict? Well, Name, enom.inc. Who is guard has been used, so you don't know who it is. But let me show you the real difficulty of why it's going to be hard to block all these domains. AMSEdge.net is registered by a company called Mark Monitor. Further down there, it does at least say it is owned by Microsoft. Anyway, Mark Monitor have a massive amount of analytics and brand protection domains. What is the exact amount though? I don't know. But doing a reverse who is on the word markmonitor.inc brings me up a report costing 102,000 US dollars. How is it calculated? Domains in reports, 101,000 plus is 10 cents per domain. 10 cents, 10 cents per domain 
of a report costing $102,000 consists of 1 million domains. Ouch. I can use a couple of other tools that bring up 6,000 results in this instance, 3,400 in this instance. So in conclusion, Microsoft have been really sneaky in the way they've registered tracking domains. There's two different companies there that you saw, there was CSC and Mark Monitor, and they've also used a privacy guard on it, so you don't know who actually owns the third domain. But that only covers a few of them. Some of them are registered by Microsoft, but you can't just go blocking everything because then you'll disable updates and access to Microsoft Store. Oh dear. Just because I said there was 1 million domains that need to be blocked, that's not all going to be used by Microsoft. That is just what happens to be owned by Mark Monitor. And many of those have probably been defensively registered for other companies. So the actual tracking ones, I don't know, the figure could be a lot lower. If tools like this disable win tracking gain more popularity, Microsoft will use other domains that are not yet known about. So you're back to square one, you're still leaking out information, even though you think you're not, and you're thinking you stopped it. Personally, I would just look up whitelisting if I was using Windows 10, but that whitelisting gets really annoying. Anyway, food for thought, that's how bad that Windows 10 is tracking you. Thanks for watching, see you later.